Hey everyone, Riley here with Dark Arrow. We've been going through the process of proof load testing the wing structure for the Dark Arrow 1 prototype. In front of me, I have the setup for the negative G proof load test. I'm gonna walk you through all this and explain how we did this. A little bit of background information on the wing itself. It's an all carbon fiber structure and a stress skin design. So that means that all the loads in the wing in flight are carried through the skin itself. And so it's a little bit of a different structural configuration than you might see in other wings. So we're going through a lot of effort to validate this structure and test it out. You can't really see the wing that well as it's sitting right now. Uh, that's because the test fixture is blocking a lot of it. So let's take a look at the test fixture. The test stand is set up to support the wing for a negative G load condition. So negative G would be if you were to push forward on the stick or if you hit a pretty big downdraft, uh, that would basically make you kind of lift up in your seat in the aircraft. And so that's what we're trying to simulate. So that is gonna have the wing sitting upright like this, and then we're gonna apply load to the wing and push the wing down. The test stand is simulating the structure of the fuselage. Uh, and so it's holding the wing the same way the fuselage would. There are four main structural bolts that attach the wing to the fuselage. And so right now the wing is basically hanging off the test fixture. The test fixture is made out of wood and it looks a little bit funny because we repurposed it from the positive G load test. There was a lot of effort that went into building the structure that allows us to attach the wing to this fixture and we didn't want to have to duplicate that work. So uh, we reused this test stand, added some legs to it that allow us to flip it over and uh, support the wing in this configuration. One last thing about the test fixture, the way it's holding the wing, it's sitting in a slightly nose down position and that's to get the load direction so that it's replicating a negative G load condition for negative G loads. Moving on from the test fixture, we have the uh, load pads, we're calling them, and that's these segments of foam that are stacked on top of the wing. So these are a CNC cut to match the contour of the top wing skin, and uh, these act as a level surface in the pitch direction for us to stack loads on. They're held onto the wing with essentially double-sided tape, and that keeps them from sliding around during the test. And we have a coordinate system laid out on here and labeled, and that gives us a little bit of guidance as we're stacking sandbags and weights onto the wing. Underneath the wings, we have these jacks set up. So we have one of these on each wing, and these are basically to control the weight on and off the wing as we load and unload bags on here. And so this is kind of a safety measure. Uh, basically, it supports the wing so that we can uh, control this weight and the jacks the way we have them set up, they're uh, screwed or fastened down to an MDF base to keep them from tipping over. On top of that, uh, we have a 2x4 and plywood structure attached to the top of the jack. And then between that uh, frame there and the wing, we have a CNC cut pad made out of foam. And that's to kind of cushion the load or the supporting load between the jack and the wing. The idea is that we can run these jacks up underneath the wing and support it as we're loading uh, bags on here. And then once all the load is set up and positioned and ready to go, we can back the jack off and then control that transition of weight uh, onto the wing and the test fixture. And they also act as a catch so that if something did let go in the wing and it was gonna drop, it kind of catches the whole assembly and prevents it from just falling catastrophically and damaging the wing excessively or injuring anyone. For the weights themselves, we used a combination of sandbags, uh, cast iron plates, and we did have a couple of concrete bags as well. Most of the weight load was built up using these sandbags though. Uh, you can see the load stations on the wing. The width of them corresponds to the width of the sandbags and concrete bags. There's a little bit of logic put into that. And then the smaller weights we were using to uh, fine tune 
the load distribution. Anytime we had a kind of a step function where you're going from say five or four bags down to three bags or four bags, uh, you don't want that sharp change in load uh, between each load station. So we use these weights to give it a little bit smoother transition between each load station. The last piece of the setup that I'll show you is this uh, section of extruded aluminum frame that's set up around the perimeter of the wing. And attached to that frame, we have a number of rulers that we're using to check the uh, deflection of the wing under load. So we've got rulers set up at a bunch of different strategic locations. And the idea is that we basically zero them in the unloaded condition. And then as we load up the wing, we can check the deflection as it travels down. And then we want to confirm that after we remove the load, that it comes back to zero and there's no permanent deformation in the wing. Since we're measuring displacement on both the front and the back of the wing, we can use the differences in those measurements to check the twist of the wing under load. Since this wing is a little bit new in terms of construction, we wanted to make sure that we're not getting any weird sort of action with twist under load. So that's a high level overview or a test setup for the negative G proof load test. We have another video coming out shortly that summarizes all our test results from the proof load testing. If you want to get some behind the scenes content or early access to updates on Dark Arrow 1 build progress, click the join button below this video or click the link in the description of this video to become a member to our Dark Arrow YouTube community page. Beyond that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.